Once you're ready. Yep. <coughs> All right, so Grants. Grand Finals. Goji here. You don't see that every day. Um, can he get his first tournament win? I'd like to see it. Uh, yeah, we're good to go. Yeah. Yep. Now we got Sizeax going Lucina. Um, what in the world? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. And they're running into Battlefield. I think a good stage for both these characters. Uh, frankly, I agree with the Lucina pick. Both of Tim's normal characters being uh, Mario and Doc lose really hard to range. Definitely. And Tim has a pretty legit Lucina. I was not aware of that. Uh, however, don't want to... Don't don't want to give away any trade secrets here, but uh, Henry very hist uh, historically struggles with Tim's uh, Kirby of all things. Interesting. Henry hates Tim's Kirby, but I'm not sure Tim is aware of that. Well, we'll see if he pulls it out. I mean, Tim's got a ways to go. He's got to win six games if he wants to take this tournament. I honestly think that Tim ha not has this, but Tim is very capable of this. Oh, absolutely. Um, Tim is somewhat objectively the better player, but today uh, Henry has beaten him, uh, almost stage spikes him. Good air dodge. Yeah, no tech, but Lucina doesn't need it because True. Dolphin Slash. <laughs> and oh, that is and going to be a shield break. Yep, that's, that's it for that. Uh, Almost full charge shield breaker. Gonna do a little bit more than a full charge shield breaker. I don't think he really needed it. That he probably could have done anything. He probably no, could no have. He probably could have down smashed and killed him, but. And pin. And pin. And pin. Zero zero. Lucina's forward air just did the same percent that Corn's down smash did. Eleven percent. Just in case anybody was wondering, Ike's F tilt does 13%. Oh, as does Wario's up here. Oh, nice. But back to this game. Back to this game. Now, Henry hasn't been doing it that much, but one thing he really likes to do is pin kick into spot dodge. Yeah, because he does that quite a bit, actually. I, I bet he was going for it there, but Tim got there in time. And Tim might start adapting to if Henry keeps doing it. Back when, uh, back when KJ played Corrin, that was something I used to abuse all the time as well, was the pin kick spot dodge. Yeah. Apparently just a very popular Corrin habit. Oh, the oh, stage spike. And the stage spike, and, and that is game, game one. one to Tim Peterson. I'm trying to play Munch game like right now. Right now? Hmm. All right. I'll have fun. All right, Huron's leaving me. I will commentate Grants alone. All right, M2. Corey, on our transition, we want it on the right, right? Okay, so we're gonna do that. <coughs> Duvall, you're not Duvall. I thought you were Duvall for a second. Where is Duvall? Duvall, where are you? Just some clown. Okay, so... Tim switching to Marth. And it ain't looking too hot. We got an unanswered 103% by Goji. There we go. Tim's on the board. Oh, nice up tilt out of the pin trap. And Tim definitely responding here. This is Grant, yes. How are we gonna edge guard? Pin kick, he was looking to cover that roll. Alright. And up he's gonna catch him. You gotta shield that on ledge. And pin 
kick should do it. Just about didn't do it. <clears throat> Tim just waits for him to drop shield. Tim's getting these up tilts out of the pin traps. It's interesting. Maybe he's uh, wary of the fact that he can do that. No tech. And just reads neutral get up into tipper F smash. And we have borderline an even game. Oh, just spacing these fares. Keeping them out. Goji loves to go for those up smashes when the opponent is on the battlefield platforms. He knows those reach through, but uh, not much success. And Henry with the lead, not afraid to camp, but it's dead even right now. Real tight game. Uh, it's hard to tell apart corn stars for me, to be honest. Oh man, that looks like it could have gotten him. Henry's got to be careful when he doesn't auto cancel those dares. There's some end lag. How are we going to edge guard? Okay, going for dragon shot. Run shielding. Oh, he's going for the PCB, just letting him off, letting him drop. Pin? Okay, he didn't get the sweet spot pin, Tipper, but he got the kick. How are we going to edge guard? Okay, looking to cover the roll. Neutral get up to roll there. Henry likes to do that. And uh, he got the partially charged bite, which I believe is stronger than fully charged. Um, so, yeah, that ties it up 1 1. If Henry wins this best of five, he wins the tournament. He's never won a tournament before. I'd like to see him do it. Um, Tim's got a way to, ways to go. He's got to win six. Er, hold on. Size X is up one. He's got to win five more games. He's got to reset the bracket and win three games on the reset. Henry just has to win two more, and he's got this. Now let me uh, let me update this real quick. Is, uh... Hey, Corey, how do I get this off full screen? How do I get this off full screen? Do... Just escape? Okay, all right. All right, so let me just update this real quick. Five, it's going to be red player first win. Where we at? Where we at? Oh. What did I do? Red first win. There we go. Okay. Back to the game. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> All right, and we're back. And Goji looking good. Tim never shields those up bees. Uh, when he's edge guarding, he always gets hit. Henry just a moment ago. He loves to, as an edge guard, I mean, he mixes up his edge guards, but he'll run off and pin at the ledge to try and stage spike you, and then, uh, and then pin on the stage, kick on the stage. Tim's got good DI, so he's not going to die that easy. Down throw, up air. He's probably looking for a fair there. And kick will definitely... Oh my goodness, I can't believe that didn't kill. And that'll do it. Horns up there. Strong enough, definitely strong enough to kill at that percent. Pretty good up there. Nice up smash to catch the pin. And, uh, oh, gets the counter to beat the bear. Wow, Gochi looking real good. Mario up smash pretty good. Not going to kill quite yet. Looking for the Cyclone. How are we going to get out of this pin? Just going to drop to ledge. Ooh, those dares are dangerous, but he, he's being slick. He's getting out of them. Go 
Goji with a lot of pin kicks here. Just getting them over and over again. How is Sides actually going to respond to this? Just getting them with these pin kicks. And up smash. There's the first stock. Charges up flood. That could definitely come in handy. He's going to let him drop. What are we going to do? And gets him with the tipper pin. That'll be a JV2 by Goji. Uh, I'm not sure what a ledge smash is, sir. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so we're going to transition this. Uh, and we're going to do Red's second win. So, Goji wins one more. He wins his first ever tournament. But we'll see if uh, Sizeyax can bring this back, win the next two games. We'll have to see. <coughs> Did I fix a transition here? God damn it. I don't know how to fucking do this shit. Transition. Uh, hold up one sec. Okay. So, Tim... Hovering over Kirby. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, Tim is far from a beginner. And the thing is, uh, Goji has a little problem against Tim's Kirby. Tim going Puff. Uh, his Puff is not bad. I just beat it in bracket the other day in one game. And we're going FD. All right, let me get this on full screen, and we're getting into it. How... I mean, Puff is pretty much objectively the worst character in the game for a number of reasons. And uh, why is that? It's um, her... Actually, all her moves do a little too much knockback, so she can't combo. And she's stupid light, so she dies super early. She, uh, that's true. Uh, much more powerful. She Rest doesn't kill very early at all. Um, she doesn't have any disjointed hitboxes like in Melee, but we're keeping it fairly even now. Oh, is he going to get the Gimp? Yeah, I got to commentate this game. Okay, so we're keeping it... Oh, Puff was enormously better in Melee. Okay, so... Oh, I don't even know how she was in Brawl. Just get some with the Dare. Oh, get some with the other side of the pin kick. Puff just so light. It does not take much to kill a Puff. No, Tim's crazy. Okay, he's living. Goji should have charged that a little bit. He had a chance. I don't know if that was a misinput or Tim's just nuts. Nah, rollout's not that good in this game. Nah, nah, it's, it's not like that at all. And, okay, so, we got down smash to cover the roll. We're gonna get a Gimp. Yeah, he's just keeping him out with these fares, and that's gonna do it. Okay. Size the axe, only 11% on him. Can Goji win this game, win this tournament? Jab combo. Got him up to 35. Trading aerials. Goes for, looks like a pivot smash. Oh, is this going to be it? Yep. And we're, we are going to game five. Can Sizeyax reset this bracket? We will see. We will see. This is, uh... Oh, Jigglypuff is terrible, but Sizeyax is a very good player. Okay, so we got that second win. We are going to game five. And we're going to town and city, low ceiling, also a big stage where you can camp. Goji not afraid to camp when he has the lead. Sizeyax staying puff. Let me get this on full screen here so I get a better look. <coughs> Starting out with the pin kick, got him up to 11%, and yet another shield grab. Doesn't get anything off of it. Tim just uh, getting 
stray aerials. A couple of them, at least. Looking for that tipper pin, doesn't get it, but the kick back covers the roll. Henry definitely knows what he's doing with his character and knows how to exploit people's... cover people's options. Especially getting up from ledge. Oh man, Pound can break shield, and that... Pound can break shield, yes, uh, Puff's side B, and that brought that shield down a lot. Um, which is like we had a little lag on the recording. Oh, going through th three dash attacks in a row. Um, that throw not quite going to kill, um, despite Puff being so light and a low ceiling. That pin kick, unbelievable. Sizex must have the most incredible DI in the world. He's surviving stuff. It really looks like he shouldn't be surviving. Now, can he bring this back? Rest is definitely going to kill. If he can land a rest... Yep, there it is. Rolled into the rest. Now, if Goji can get there... Okay, no. Alright, so, Timakil percent. <laughs> Goji just going for the Hail Mary F smash. Alright. Goji get this stock. He's gonna need to. Tim reading that roll. Oh! Goji's gotta be careful with these pin kicks. He's in a bad position. And up B to get him up there. And an up air. Yeah, it's not too bad. We're at 53%. You can clutch this out. Again, size X. Sizex Puff is not bad. 33 to 62. Sizex likes to uh, wall him out with these fares a little bit. Goes for jab to grab. Doesn't get the grab. Pin kick. Looking even-ish. 61 to 79. Space and bears. Keeping him off stage. How are we going to edge guard? Oh, this is dangerous. I mean, obviously, Rest is going to kill. Oh, my goodness. And he doesn't react fast enough. I thought he was going to rest there, too. I saw it coming. Oh, spacing those bears. A bear is going to kill, I'm sure. And that might... There it is. Godzilla Brawler has won his first tournament ever. No bracket reset. Did it in set one. That was Grand Finals, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Godzilla Brawler with his first win.